And with that said, we're going to go ahead and enter 6-3, Beware the Spinning Logs. The spinning logs are fun to play with, actually. This level is awesome. I love this level. Spinning logs. Reminds me of that darn spinning log in uh, the lava level of Mario 64. Which I always thought that was like one of the most useless things ever, because I usually just do a long jump over it. But... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay then. No, these logs are a lot more awesome and potentially deadly than uh, that log. <laughs> No, as a kid, you did that level normally, but then as an adult, you're like, yeah, I'm just gonna long jump over this. <laughs> the spinning logs in Yoshi's Island, they will uh, propel you a, a specific direction. Hey. And the direction should... Eh, did you have something to say? Or... Yeah, these are exactly like those platforms from uh, Super Mario Bros. 3. The spinning ones. Yeah. Although, wow. <laughs> they are, I completely forgot about those. But they can either, like, catapult you downwards, or as shown there, they can catapult you upwards. And it's actually going to be used for a secret coming up ahead. Hmm. We're going to catapult up, up, and into a secret! <laughs> but first, we got something more awesome to uh, come across. And that would be. Come on, the suspense is killing me. I don't know, <laughs> I know what it is. I want to know what's, uh, what this is all about. Let's see. Oh, there's fuzzies! There are fuzzies here, they ask. Whoa, man, more fuzzies when we're jumping on shrooms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This won't be the last time we're seeing fuzzies, because one of the secret direction levels has fuzzies, but in the main game, this is the last time we see fuzzies. Woohoo! Look at me go backwards. <laughs> Alright. Hey, it's a stick! But don't ground pound this one all the way down. You get the red coin for one ground pound down, but if you keep going down, you die. Huh. Which the game clearly kind of indicates that you're going to die if you keep ground pounding, but uh, from past experience I've done that just to see if anything is there. So curiosity can literally kill the Yoshi. Oh yeah, you always have to check. <laughs> or else that whole time I'd be like, maybe I missed something there. But... Alright, we got some more spinning logs here, and thankfully these ones are rotating in such a way that if uh, you want to catapult off the one there. There we go! Whoa! And there's a secret somewhere there. There it is. Really? Is this? I can't, yep. I can't remember the last time there was a secret that required you to go over a wall like that. Huh. And this secret's pretty fun. Although there's no red coins. Ways... <laughs> no, there aren't any red coins. <laughs> but uh, this secret room, you notice that there was two doors in the last room, and there are two doors in this room. Mm -hmm. This secret, there is a correct path and an incorrect path in each room. And if we keep taking the correct path, we keep entering secret rooms. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, Although you missed the balloons! There is... <laughs> uh, we just have to wait for the next set of balloons, thankfully. But thankfully, if uh, you can just keep going into the secret and secret until you finally take the complete correct path. Not that there isn't anything, but, I mean, it's fun. Really? Plus, there is a reason for taking this secret room, actually. Or going through all the correct paths. If you take the wrong path, you're just taken out of the secret, actually. Huh. It's this room. We have a whole bunch of shy guys. How many one-ups are Whoa. there again? <laughs> like you need more one-ups. <laughs> <Cow block. laughs> <laughs> it's true. Seriously? Come on, you got a 99 <laughs> times 3 roll. Seriously. <laughs> well, that only made up for the ones that he had actually lost from the 99 times zeros. <laughs> Fair enough, but still, he's got more lives than he friggin' needs. You might as well just have nine 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 nine. <laughs> Max lives in this game is nine hundred ninety nine. Oh. I don't remember what game it was, but another game when you have too many lives, it just gives you the infinity symbol. Really? Not a lot of games do that, hmm. but yeah, they do. I, I know that Super it. Mario Brothers one it gives you a game over if you get too many lives. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. The lives counter like rotates back around and you're back at zero. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The crazy wow. Nintendo original. NES. <laughs> well, math, well, think, well, think about it, Miles. You know, it's got a logic. It's got a logic gate on it, and there's probably a hexadecimal built somewhere under the chip, saying, you know, it. There's a, there's a breaking point because if you get so many numbers, it it'll reset to a negative number, and then the negative. Mm -hmm. number it overflows. Yep, it, exactly. it overflows. So. Probably goes two fifty five, and because it's an eight bit register, you know, it tries going to the next one. It flips the next bit to one, but then all the previous bits become zero. Yep. So it actually introduces a really funny dilemma, because there's some places in Mario 1 where you can get infinite lives, but if you get too greedy, it will actually result in the game over, which is kind of funny. Ah! Oh no! Probably no. because 
the the memory overflow go, goes to an integer that results in the game over. That's just what it probably results to. Hmm. Crap! Did you just die again? <laughs> yes, I did. I look away for one it second. You die. You see, there are boulders on just little platforms, and in order to get the coins, you have to roll the boulders off the platforms. And that's difficult to do, especially with a potable right there. Uh, the first time it wasn't too bad, but this time, you know, there's a potable there, and it's like, ah. Uh. Is there any way to kill the potable without items? I don't think so. Hmm. I think you do literally have to, like, use a pow block or something like that. <laughs> Go! 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 On! Nope. <sighs> Darn. Yeah, it's zero to three. No <laughs> mini games this time. Not that we're using items that we get from them anyway. <laughs> One hundred points. There we go. See, this is why I, this is the problem I had with Sticker Star. You get all these stickers, you're like, "Ooh, they're so cool!" And I never wanted to use them. Just like, kind of like you, never wanting to use any of your items. I have no idea how you ever beat Sticker Star. <laughs> I, I eventually uh, kind of got over it and just started blasting through everything with all but the, my rare stickers. There's, so there's no way I can do that. I admittedly, I started I started grinding them. for good stickers. <laughs> That's actually one of my problems with Sticker Star. Is if you want to be a powerful person, you just or powerful Mario, you just grind for the good stickers. Because mm. there are blocks that will turn you know a regular sticker into a shiny sticker. Yep. But I prefer not to think about Paper Mario Sticker Star right now, because we are in uh, 6.4, which was uh, Tap Tap of the Red Noses Board. It's really weird. On the wall back there, there was a block missing. Is there any kind of secret to do with that, or was that just kind of a glitch on the developer's part? See, to the That's... left, you can see it. Yeah, I saw that. I don't know. <laughs> there probably isn't a secret room there. That's actually the first time I've ever noticed this, and I've played this game a thousand times. So. <laughs> wow. Wow. But, uh... This is the final castle before we get to the final castle, so I guess it's the pen-up ultimate or almost final castle. Hmm. Oh, line of blue! There we go. Whoa! <laughs> That's funny. Hey! And remember that blues can be defeated if they're chasing towards you? Great! Floor fire bars. Yep. Floor fire bars. Now pay attention to me. I ducked, yeah. and they still hit me. <laughs> So the perspective here is kind of skewy. Yeah, they don't really work. If you jump over them a million times, like in Paper Mario 1, do coins come out? No. <laughs> I wish that would happen, but no, it doesn't happen here. But once we get past this fire bar, click a couple of the coins here. Make sure I don't get hit by the skewy perspective. Yeah, the perspective is really weird. <laughs> it doesn't really yeah, it work is. correctly. It is really easy to get side squished here. That is getting caught in between two of these moving platforms and it is going squish. I think I remember this. <laughs> Getting squished there once. Brings us to just an area, a couple of eggs, and some more stars. And that prepares us for our next area that I ground pound into <laughs> and go into a pipe. <laughs> That's weird. And this is basically a big empty room. That actually has Salvo. Do you remember Salvo? The slime? Oh yeah! Here's the guy who we ate, and then we had the really funny ending animation, or Yoshi kind of pose, right? That was Marching Mill Day. Oh. This is the boss of World 1. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. In, wor in World 1, he spewed out a bunch of uh, yellow things that allowed you that you were able to eat and get eggs from, and the, his yellow things were actually the only things you were able to uh, get hurt by. Salvo himself can't hurt you. And in this arena, we have to rely off this uh, you know, the egg spawner here to get us some eggs to finally kill him, because he actually has the key. It's really funny that they actually used a boss as kind of just a mini enemy in the final they did. The mm -hmm. And it's not even like he can hurt you. The only way you can die in this room is by hitting one of the blue spikes, and those are instant death. Hmm. Since this arena is huge and he bounces all over the place, we have to... Uh, it's hard to hit him. And of course he decides to die over some spikes, you know what that means. Yeah, going to that ask. means the key yeah. appears over the spikes. So oh, but we can break the blue thing, so it's okay. Right? I didn't think oh, about it at that time, but safe. you're absolutely correct. <laughs> Barely. I got it the Yoshi's stupidly tail is like risky an way. Inch from touching it. That was that was really an cool inch. though. <laughs> it was, but it was unnecessarily risky. 
as is natural of a fortress that tap tap the red nose is, it's going to have a whole lot of tap taps. And I'm playing with these tap taps here. <laughs> How does it not, like, destroy his tongue, licking the spikes? Uh, training? Training. <laughs> like, you go to a Yoshi gym class, and you literally spend, like, ten minutes licking the tap tap. <laughs> I don't know. But right now we're in the second half of the castle, which is actually a maze. But I got good news for you, is that I am going to take the optimal path in the maze. Ooh. Optimal path to get everything. Anyway. Uh, there is an optimal path if you just wanted to beat the level flat out fast as possible, too. Really cool perspective here. Really bizarre. Yeah, I think the perspective was used pretty cool here. And the pipes actually take you into different layers in the level instead of just flat out taking you to a new area. I always liked it when Mario games did that, instead of being lazy, and it's like, the pipe's basically used for teleportation. Yeah, Super Mario Bros. 3 did that, and then Super Mario World didn't do it at all. Although there is custom stuff that will allow you to do it, but no one uses it, really. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, go down to here, this little pipe in the way bottom left-hand corner of the maze. It has six eggs and some stars for us, which you might not think, eh, that's okay. But that's actually really useful to us. We go into the pipe again and go into the pipe immediately to the left of there. More suspense. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Guess who we see again? No way. <laughs> He's come back. Although now you only have six tries to kill him. That's correct. You have to use all six of your eggs wisely or kill him within six eggs. And that was a really good egg right there. <laughs> On the bright side, if you want to cheese this area, you can use an egg item or a watermelon item. Oh, that's a good point. Exactly, because you can actually use items here, and he falls really quick to a watermelon, for example. Would, like, a question mark cloud or a pow block kill him in, like, one hit, or...? I don't believe so. I, I actually couldn't tell you for absolute certain, but I don't believe so. Hmm. It'd be interesting if it did, because he does have the key, cause, so it's like, use power block, get key. <laughs> Here we go, now we just have to make ourselves, or get ourselves to the upper levels, and explore everything there, and get ourselves out of this maze. First time you're playing this game, chances are you're going to be going all over the place wondering where to go. It's pretty bizarre. But, uh, generally speaking, the path you want to take in this maze is go down, defeat Salvo, go up, and... And you, know, you saw the pipe with the key <laughs> on it, or the keyhole. That's ultimately where you want to go. The locked cork in the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want your kids getting into your wine, put a lock on the cork. I never thought about it like that before, but it's funny when we unlock it, the cork goes pop. <laughs> <laughs> and we needed a key to do that. Uh. Oh, yeah. But to get everything in this level, we do have to take all these side pipes. And this one's fun. Take a look at this. Look at all these tap taps. How in the world are we going to get that flower without getting hit? Power block! <laughs> Why didn't I think about it at the time? I got a better answer, though. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to exercise Yoshi's ton a little bit more. I am mashing B yeah, right now. Yeah, rapid lot. fire button with this. Ugh. <laughs> the tap taps, they're coming, they're coming! Yeah, I'm just gonna let them march ahead. Hmm. That's good. There we go. I wanna say if good egg bank could also get that if the egg doesn't hit a tap tap, but otherwise I don't see how in the world it's possible to actually get that flower without taking a hit, I'll block, or doing what I did. This room's now this one you could get with a well-timed egg throw or an egg bank, but I'll get it the, <laughs> the way I've been getting everything else in this <laughs> level so far. <laughs> By just licking all the tap taps over to the side. They don't care, they just keep hopping around. They're like, yeah, whatever, you can't defeat us, Yoshi. Nah, nah. <laughs> with that, we actually have gotten everything, and we just have to go to that pipe that was more... Ah, gosh darn it. Oh pipe that has the keyhole labeled on it. There we go. Or literally has a key on it. This pipe is locked. <laughs> Unauthorized access to pipe. Oh, that's pretty neat. Yeah. They actually did that instead of just making a locked door. 
it was different. I mean, cork on a pipe. It's kind of silly. It's par for this game. We just have one more quarter to go before we make it to the boss. We just have a merry-go-round over a big, spewing pit of lava. Are we sure it's lava and not jello or like some <laughs> other the colorful ketchup mix? Factory. Ketchup? There we go. <laughs> it does instantly kill Yoshi, but maybe it's all in his mind. <laughs> He's allergic to ketchup. You know, if you were definitely afraid of <laughs> you were definitely afraid of water and got knocked into water, you might just flat out die from the overwhelming trauma. Of it. You're saying this is a dream. So maybe that is this Yoshi Inception. He dies and wakes <laughs> up, but he's still on Yoshi's Island. But yet he's still in his mind. That's on Yoshi's Island. That's sleeping. Well, seeing all the nuked enemies, maybe so. When Baby Mario hit him on the head, he went into a concussion. I thought that he went on a Pokemon journey. Oh wait, that's another theory. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong game. Oh, with that, we've gotten everything, and now we just have to fight the boss. So I'd like to ask you a question. The boss we're fighting is a Tap Tap. Uh, we can't defeat Tap Taps. What do you think we're going to have to do? Final boss is Super Mario Brothers 3 style. Make him fall through the floor. Pop-Tart? <laughs> what, for what's going to happen? Do you think Higsby's theory is correct? All theories are correct in some universe. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so yeah, tap tap the red nose. No, he's not a reindeer, since someone had to make that joke. <laughs> he stomps all around this big battlefield and he'll jump around and... It's pretty easy to get hit by him, to be completely honest, if you don't know what you're doing. But, just as Sigby was mentioning, you knock him right into the lava. <laughs> and he's done for. There you go. No three hits, he doesn't jump back out. <laughs> One hit dozen. So hooray! I actually beat that boss really quick, that comparatively speaking. So. But hooray! That was the first half of World 6. It does pick up in the latter half. Well, 6 5. You'll see 6 5. Uh, I'll talk about when we get to it, but. Hmm. There is a level on Yoshi's Island DS that was inspired by 6 5, and I'm curious if you might be able to figure out what that is, Evil Pop Tart. I will do my best. <laughs> okay. It, it was a level I called the second worst, if not worst, level in Yoshi's Island DS, yeah, and 6-5 is the second worst, if not worst, level in Yoshi's Island. I'll make... I'll be the judge of that. We'll There's see. There's gonna be potabos, so... <laughs> There's gonna be potabos, lava, and a cave. Oh, I think I'm starting to remember what this is. We'll see. So, but you'll have to wait till next week. I can wait till next oh, no. week. <laughs> I'm up to the challenge. Uh. Challenge accepted. <laughs> All right. So, this has been Miles Louis. Yeah, this has been Evil Pop Tart. And Higsby. And see you all next week, where we're going to finally make it to the end of the game proper. Oh, time. Yay. <laughs> I love this game, too.